All right, part two in the continuing saga, trying to get these stupid CED players to work. Three styluses since then still refuses to cooperate. I have another one, exact same model as this one. This one still had all its original belts. They haven't turned the goo like this one did, so there's no cleaning involved. It's got to change the belts because they're loose, and you can tell it's soft and stuff. So that's getting ready to go. This is an earlier one. They're still made from September of 81. But this one, serial 25814. This one is a 22404. I don't know if it was serviced at one time. Since that, because it had a tamper sticker over one of the uh, chassis screws. So I don't know if it was professionally serviced at one point during its life. Because it still had all the original belts. So, like, why did the belts in this one perish when these ones are still intact? They're shot, but they were still intact. So, anyway, since this one refuses to cooperate, I'm going to take the parts I put on this one, transfer them to this one, and see if I got a better shot at getting one of these two damn things to work. Now, I'm not going to bore you with taking the part and working on it. you already seen that. So, I'll do that off camera, and... I'll come back when all the parts are transferred and see if this one does anything. And as always, I accept this challenge. Can't hit too much because of Neil. But, second player is working for now. It does have moments where the picture will like disappear for a second. I don't know if that's just the stylus or the, just the disc is bad. I know these, a lot of these discs are worn out, so it skips like crazy. So I took all the parts off of this one, which wouldn't read the disc no matter what. Even moving this forwards, still wouldn't pick up a signal. This one's working no problem now. So far, it's played one side of the disc, and then it automatically retreated back to the back. Let's put the disc in, flip it over, and now it's illuminated for side two. New belt on that side, you can see that thing turning. See a little black speck there, you can tell that it's rotating. Something the other one wasn't doing. So, finally got one of these to work. I don't know if I should just toss this one, or put, or reorder the parts and put them in this one. But in order to figure out why I'm not getting the stylus to work, require uh, some test equipment that I don't have. Like a signal tracer or oscilloscope, whatever it's called, to trace components to see, okay, am I getting a signal here? Am I getting a signal here? Is this putting out a voltage? Is this working? I don't have those type of sophisticated tools. So, decide what to do with this one. But for now, appears to be working. And just in case you're curious, this is what's playing. Pink Panther strikes again. So, this is other developments. I think this will finally wrap this series up. Still got two other players, the uh, other versions. Got mess with those at some point later on down the line. But, looks like I finally got a working player again. Alright, one final test. I got this new home over here. Got this turntable on top of it because it's light. Now, the way this works, because I also got the Betamax player hooked up, is I got a switch over here. So one forces cable in, that's the VCR. So this, cause this uh, converter box, the antenna comes in, then it goes out to the Betamax, then the Betamax goes out to the TV. So instead now the Betamax outputs to this, and this goes to the TV. Then if I switch it over, no signal right now, but this thing outputs on channel four. So if I can do this, which is not going to let me do at the moment. Won't let me switch to channel 3. Do that or aux. 
So I gotta figure out how to get this on channel three because it currently outputs on channel four. There should be a three four switch on there, so I need to investigate that real quick if this is gonna work. It works. I can't find a three four switch on here, so it's probably something in the programming. But I found the aftermarket remote for this and managed to switch it to channel four. And it works. So you got the switch back there, the switch between the converter box and this. So this now works with this. I can't show too much audio because you know who. Plus it's Disney. That's volume anyway. Uh, where the hell's the stupid remote for the damn sound bar? That's laser disc. Um, let me look around for the remote control for this. I'll just unplug this damn thing. This handsome, regal, majestic. That's all you get. But, yeah. She's working.